drink? Yeah. Give it up for Lisa Cohn. Yeah. Nope, still not Dana. <laughs> <laughs> she likes to tease you guys with me. Uh, I'm what you call the fluffer. <laughs> and I feel like I left you guys on kind of a low note back there, so um, I went out there and I thought of something positive I could tell you. It just happened to me. Um, I just got recognized for the first time for comedy. You guys? Yeah. She said, uh, weren't you the one crying outside of the comedy club last night? <laughs> it's like, it depends. Did you think I was funny? <laughs> and that might be hard for you guys to believe since I'm, you know, so confident and charming. But, uh, my girlfriend just broke up with me. Oh. And I started watching Breaking Bad for the first time. Yeah. So you lose some, you gain a lot more. <laughs> uh, but Breaking Bad's been a really great rebound. Um, but I just finished watching all five seasons of that, sir. <laughs> so um, that's over now, too. <laughs> and now I'm left with this knowledge to make 99% pure math. <laughs> and a really clean house. <laughs> Uh, I started doing the online dating thing. Anybody else? Oh, Hate oh, yourself? Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not real confident in that lately. No, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Last time I asked that question, this guy in the front row raised his hand. He had to wait for like three minutes while his wife beat the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> um, I filled out my profile on one of those sites and uh, <laughs> Somebody named Wine Dined in 69 wants to meet you. <laughs> Why could somebody just kill me? I don't want to do this. <laughs> but I thought I'd met um, a pretty good match with this one woman. But then I found out later that she's really into hardcore S&M. And I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, fine. Whatever. I'm not exactly vanilla. But here's the thing, you guys. She, she's a dominatrix who uh, likes to humiliate her submissives. And I do this. <laughs> I, I'm doing scenes all the time, you guys. <laughs> well, I told her if my safe word is Fifty Shades of No Fucking Way. <laughs> a friend of mine, a friend of mine wants to, she wants to start a lesbian speed dating service. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> Let's speed up the lesbian dating <laughs> Maybe we can all move out before we move in. <laughs> it's like lesbian speed dating, sponsored by Turbo New Hope. <laughs> Here's another stereotype that's based on truth. Uh, I drive a truck. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. But yeah, it's not because like I think it's super butch or anything. It's because a truck really comes in handy when you're like perpetually moving out and moving back in again. <laughs> No U-Haul, but that's what lesbian Sisyphus would do for the rest of eternity. <laughs> Pull that joke in Yakima. Yeah, I heard somebody go, what's lesbian syphilis? <laughs> oh, I thought about going straight after my breakup again. Yeah, I figure if I did, I'd probably have to deal with, I don't know, some precious little bottom boy who works at Sephora. <laughs> Who <laughs> is your eyeliner and skinny jeans? <laughs> Maybe it even shares in store discount with me to try oh, to yes. wax my eyebrows. It could happen. You know what's more stupid than me actually thinking I could go straight? I'm going to tell you. Jägermeister! Yeah. Yeah. No. You, know, you, should, you know what I'm talking about. Especially you do. Especially that last shot at the end of the night. It seems like it's a good idea. It's like, oh, if I feel good now, that's the answer to reason. I'll feel even better after one more shot, right? Oh, is that a good idea? But we don't realize it until you've already downed the thing and then you're like, shit, why did I do that? You know? Because you know right then you just got from fucked up 
to just fuck. Because <laughs> then it starts, like all of a sudden the annoying drunk guy sitting next to you. Oh. He seems kind of charming. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Your friends have left, but oh well, they're happy, smiling faces all around you, blinking on and off. Next thing you know, you'll be stumbling outside to beg for a cigarette. Oh, you don't smoke. <laughs> and if your drunken adventures are anything like mine, you might find yourself making out with the person that gave you one. <laughs> but at this point, there are still just a few brain cells left, and these guys realize that just as stupid as the Jaeger was the Red Bull you drank with it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because now you can't pass out. <laughs> and you should, because like passing out is nature's way of preventing you from doing more stupid shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've come to the place in this adventure where people try to get you to sing karaoke. No. Oh. <laughs> karaoke is icing on the stupidity cake, man. Hey, I know, I know, because it goes something like this. <laughs> I saw him standing there by the record machine. Woo! I knew he must have been about seventeen. Yeah. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 